what is going on everybody how are you guys doing today i hope you are having a wonderful wonderful day today is what is it friday yeah it's friday october 2nd it is the first friday of october and of course 2020 continues we'll get into that later i'm your boy christian israel and you are tuned into the new creation capital podcast This is a place where we discuss what happens in the world today, the stock market, and yes, digital assets. This is the one-stop shop where you can get everything you need in your day for your Christ and crypto. Because as I love to say, Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future because in him, guys, you are a new creation. Today is episode 201. Wow, 201 episodes. That is crazy. Thank you for everybody who's been around for the 200 episodes. Where I see the massive growth happening right now actually is on my podcast, not the vlog as in YouTube. So I'm seeing a 5x growth over the last few weeks on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Anchor Platform, all of those. So a special shout out to all of you guys there. We appreciate your support from all over the world. There are people from over, what is it, 95 countries now, I think, 95, 96 countries I counted, that have listened to this podcast. So thank you so much. I truly appreciate all of your guys' support. But if this is your first time here, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if this is your 100th time here, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe. You know I love to see the comments below. Also, of course, I published a book that came out three weeks ago, actually almost four weeks ago now. It's doing very well, beginning to sell. I appreciate all the support. If you want to support the channel, because this is not a monetized channel, I do not get paid to do YouTube channels. I just do TA specifically in news for our clients who just kind of want to see our thought process and what we're thinking. This channel is not for you to pick and choose how you day trade. This is just to talk about strictly what's going on in the market, not telling you shorting or longing or all that stuff. This is information for our clients to kind of see what is going on inside of my head as we go and through the TA. Most of our portfolios are HODL portfolios anyway. We do trade the market and do margin long, so you will help me speak about that. Anyway, welcome to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to talk about is the double bottom pattern done? Has it played out? We discussed this actual double bottom pattern, double bottom pattern, and on episode 194, right here, is this, uh, if the, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I think this is the double bottom we talked about. I don't remember. Oh, episode 198, will we double bottom soon? Literally, Three episodes ago, I spoke about a possible double bottoming, and we will see that today if that happens. There's been a lot of crazy news out there going on, and I love to look at the DXY to discuss, which is the dollar index, to discuss what we're seeing and what's going on in the market. To me, this is the perfect indicator. I'm actually going to go to the full screen mode so you guys can see this a little bit better. Uh, I want to make sure you guys can actually see what I'm talking about, get rid of all the fancy things behind the scenes. For you guys to know that we've heard some big news going on. You've had Arthur Hayes, the CEO of BitMEX, which I have never traded on, and uh, be indicted, federally indicted, I believe, for his charges. Uh, let's see if I can find that real quick. It's This is the article right here. Uh, he ran BitMEX illegally, and then his CTO... Um, has been arrested and is currently in custody. I do believe the name is, uh, I don't remember, Reed. Reed is his name. Um, Samler Reed, 31, he has been arrested um, and is awaiting custody. This was yesterday's big news. And then today's big news, which I don't actually have it pulled up, is uh, the president, our president, has officially announced that he has corona. That was yesterday, COVID-19. And today, about 10 minutes ago, he was airlifted to Walter Reed Hospital. Now, I don't believe I I don't believe in anybody getting sick. So I'm just going to put it out there. Anybody who puts comments below saying he wish he dies or anything of that nature. I just I don't even want you watching my channel. Uh, You need to listen to the Christ aspect, not the crypto aspect. I see a lot of horrible tweets out there, including of the government party, a certain government party saying they hope he dies. I wish that not on anybody. I don't care what I believe. I am a supporter of Trump. 
I believe in what they are doing. But even if it was Joe Biden, I still wouldn't want him to die because no one needs to go to that eternal spot, especially if we don't know where they're going. Anyway, so the question is, with all this going on, that did this create a double bottom? Does this, does this structure actually, um, is it the news that caused this or is it what the, the, the pattern we're expecting? Three days ago, none of this news existed, yet I called for a double bottom. But what I also want to point out to you before we get there is a different type of double bottom structure or a bottom structure opposite of a double top. So this is the DXY that we are looking at, guys. And I want to pull out here to uh, July or May 2014, okay? You see the DXY just pumps like crazy here. It just pumped. And then it went sideways, and then boom, we had the next set of the crypto market. This first pump here, the DXY, I don't really know what was going on in the crypto market. I'm not paying attention. I didn't look that far back. I know really only Bitcoin, XRP, and a couple others even existed during this time. However, you see the DXY really pump, and then we went sideways for a while, the pump, and then boom, on this downtrend, we had the Bitcoin Bitcoin bull run and the rest of the crypto bull run during this time when between this time, I think XRP itself went from a half a cents to $3.50 during this time. Then you're going to have, this is almost to show you why I say this, this is almost like an M structure, guys. This M structure here that you see is also called a double top. So you got your double, your double top here. So you do, do, do. Um, so you see this structure here, and I just happen to pull back and look because this would have been a a major uh, down run, I guess, in a sense, or the crypto would go down. Here, the crypto would go up. Here, the crypto would go down. And now we should be seeing the crypto going back up here. And so we're going to zoom in to this section right here to see what is going on with the DXY. So here we go. We're going to zoom in here. And as I said, I expected the DXY to roll over and possibly go sideways. And we talked about this the other day. I talked about the DXY every day. And this is the red box we're looking. You actually see it came up and wicked today. This is literally today. Let me zoom in for you. It wicked today, which caused that minimum crash this morning in the crypto market. Money moved from crypto and the stock market into the DXY. That's why this is an indicator for me. Because money leaves those markets into the DXY. And you see it here, and then the and then the whole market recovered and became positive as far as finance 1.0 was concerned, as it money left it and came back into it. And you can almost see it if we break it down to the four hourly. You can see it happen today. You can see, uh, let's see, today is the second. So you see this pump here, right? This was the pump. This is this morning when the crypto market around three o'clock this morning, uh, I think uh, something else was announced around three o'clock this morning, my time. And then you have the doji, right? And then it's just bouncing back and forth. Also right between these two uh, moving averages. So again, I pay attention to what is going on in the DXY? It's still sitting right there, and why I believe it's going to be range bound. Now, why do I point that range bound out? Because we see here, after this major move here before the next, it ranged. And I think we're going to do the same thing when we come in here. Let me zoom in for you, and I'm going to. Do, 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 oops. Okay. I do believe we see the same thing here. I'm going to take this off. And zoom in so we can see it all, okay? Even our pivot points here, guys, you see it popped up, hit the pivot point, and then rejected. So everything that happened today, despite what the news says, the charts still show this is exactly what's supposed to happen. We talked about it yesterday. I literally did talk about it yesterday that I believe we'd reject here, come back down, and bounce off support. So by maybe by the end of the week, we see just a little bit of movement, but the 20 moving average on the daily seems to be holding for the DXY. And same here, we are same in that same range. And even when we come back, and this was not supposed to meant to be a trend line. This is my ABC corrective wave that I have drawn here. We're still working our way down slowly, but it seems like it actually broke and is hitting support. And that's not even a support line. So don't try to read it that way. I just happened to look at it and thought it was funny. Maybe I accidentally drew it as a support line, but it, that's not even how it goes. Because if I was to draw an actual 
line here would look more like this, right? This would be our actual line here. So you'd be looking for a rejection about 94.42. If that actually mattered on the DXY, which I'm not sure it really does. But charting is charting. So I just wanted to point that out and show you that what I see in the DXY specifically. So I know I focus mainly on this, but you can even see a clear double top structure here. I mean, you see it even more clearly when I pull out uh, on this structure here, you can really, really see it, right? You guys can see that, that structure. There's that M structure for you. So don't let your, your mind freak out about the daily stuff. Again, I'm not telling you to short or, or long or do any of these crazy things, but this is what you can see on this chart clear as day. So when we switch over and we look at Bitcoin, I talked about this yesterday with Bitcoin specifically, right? That it's going to reject off of 10, uh, what this pivot point right here, which is 10, 10, 6, 2, 5. And if you are a, a day trader, you can easily trade this weekly right there. It rejected off the weekly pivot. And I said it, the next spot could be 10 to 7, where we come down to as a double bottom. What happened? It rejected off 10, 3, 7, 5, which if we zoom in, let's see what that looks like. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. Right off the weekly, came right down to support one at 10, 4. Okay, and hell, and it's working its way up. Now, the question is, it looks like it rejected off the S3. It could be moving its way down. I still think we come down to 1027. Said this yesterday, still looking that way. Still looking that way. Again, still looking that way because it fits inside of this pennant structure. So all these people screaming bearish, 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 bearish after they were screaming bullish, bullish, bullish after they were screaming buy the dip after they were screaming look at my weird thumbnail. All these things, right guys? Just look at the basic structure. It's easy to see back and forth um, using your pivot points, your standard pivot points and, and standard TA honestly is pretty easy to do. Just looking at it, not trying to catch the swings, not trying to catch the top and the bottom. But what I found works for me, which I tweeted today, what works for you is most important. Again, I saw that it rejected off the weekly today, really last night after I loaded the video, rejected 10.6, came all the way down to the S1 support, perfect spot, 10.4, $200 swing there if you're day trading. Right now, I'm making sure I understand, showing this again for my clients to see. And then just in case you wanted more, look, here's that same spot. I said, we're looking to come down. I think we're going to hit over here sometime this uh, Monday or Tuesday, sometime next week, and then be off to the races. Again, I could be wrong, but this is what I see right now. Do I feel crazy bearish? I don't. I don't at all, actually, to be honest with you. Not what so bit. I mean, even if I was to draw just a little, a little, little line here, I mean, look, you're st it's still holding over since September 7th on the daily. So people are screaming bearish, bearish, bearish. I, I just, I say, let's go with the charts because again, I'm looking according to the DXY next October and October. So if we want to flip over real quick and just to, just to see the XRP chart, um, the XRP chart played, uh, which, which, which one do I want to look at it on first? Hold on. The XRP chart for me, I set another buy. Here we go. I set another buy uh, at 22.9, um, uh, like a uh, another margin long for trading, 22.9. Uh, it did not fill on, on where I trade, which I trade on prime xbt for anybody who's actually a trader there's a 50 percent bonus code uh for prime xbt you can get literally up to one full bitcoin to trade with you can't take it off the exchange but if you load two big uh, bitcoin you can get a free bitcoin use three bitcoin to trade it's a 100x margin i trade on there i did a review video of it but i can set my trades i can move my shorts uh my close my um, stop losses all of those things my take profits i can move it I said it. No, I set it for 22.7. I'm sorry. I set it for 22.7. It did not fill. But again, is this over? That's the question. Is the double bottom over? I'm not quite sure it's over. Um, you know, noise of time in a Wyckoff accumulation, it bounces down and it rolls over in double bottoms. And I set it for 2.7 because I think we're going to touch this white line again. Again, we could be wrong. That could have been it right here on Bitstamp. 
that could have been it. But so far, so good. I feel like this is I, I, we're still we're still following. I mean, I, I don't understand everyone's bearish sentiment. Even with Link, I think I told you guys a while ago, I was expecting it to come all the way back down. Um, actually, I think I told you I was, yeah, I was expecting it to come down to 850-ish. And it came down to 880. I thought I thought it'd come down around 850. And it came to 880. So I don't think we're done yet. Um, I think we got a little bit more. We need to fill this little area here, I think. But pretty soon, guys, it's going to be time to, to go ahead and take the second crypto run. Again, watch the DXY, guys. That's where you want to look, okay? So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on this? How are you feeling? Um, you know, I, I want to make sure that that you guys are enjoying these TA videos. So ask questions in there. I love to converse with you again. We got a Telegram group below that's free that we just discuss. I'm never gonna charge people for TA. Our company uh, does research and, and technical analysis for, for, for helping people understand the crypto market in general. And then we buy investments based on our research. That's pretty much it. That's why even on Twitter, our Twitter, uh, I think I pulled up here, our Twitter, I, I tweeted specifically out today. Let me see if I can find it. I, 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 I tweeted this out today, okay? Just because certain TA YouTubers have thousands of followers, goofy thumbnails, and big egos doesn't mean they actually know what they are talking about. Do your own research for your charts. Figure out what works for you and go from there. Period. Go from there. That's what you want to do. Find out what works for you. And that's what I've done. And since I've done that, I've become so much more comfortable than listening to everybody else. And for me, it's following the DXY, which I don't hear anyone. I think BC Backer talks about it every once in a while, but no one else really talks about it at all. And that for me, noticing that trend, I truly figured it out well and it makes me happy. So with that said, guys, this is the end of the crypto section. We are going to dive into the Christ section. And I'm going to pull my book open and we're going to come to, what did I, oh, I see Ephesians that we're going to go. And let's pull open and see what Ephesians pops up to. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ephesians 5. It's called Walk in Love. Let's do a little reading. Therefore, be imitators, imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Mm. But sexual immorality and all impurity or covetousness must not even be named among you as in proper saints. Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. For you may be sure of this, that everyone who is sexually immoral or impure or who is covetous, that is an idol idolater, has no inheritance in the kingdom of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them, for at one time you were in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light, for the fruit of light is founding in all that is good and right and true, and try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful to even speak of these things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Look carefully then how you walk, not as the unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand the, what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making medley to the Lord with your heart, giving thanks and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another out of the reverence of Christ. Well, that goes along with what I was saying about the comments about uh, our president. Don't be, don't get caught in that. Yes, I vote one way and I don't vote the other way, but I never wish harm on others. However, I do wish to expose the evil. 
that is in our world and let the light of Christ shine through, not just me, but you guys. If you are a believer in Christ, you are a saint. Saints are not set apart from other believers. If you are a believer, you are considered a saint according to the scriptures. Not according to churches, according to the scriptures. And this is what I talk about in my book, Learning to Love in the Wilderness. I talk about my journey of becoming someone who walked in darkness and now is someone who was filled with the light of Christ. And it's ugly when you walk in darkness. I was filled with debauchery. I was filled with drunkenness. I was filled with sexual lust and all these crazy things of the world as I lived in LA. But now, Christ is first. He has changed me. He has made me a new creation. That's why I call this new creation capital. That's why I say the intro I do. It is all tied together. Anyway, guys, if you want to support me and you want to support the channel, please buy my book. The link is in the description, Learning to Love in the Wilderness. Or you can just Google Learning to Love in the Wilderness and buy it on Amazon or Roku or wherever you want to purchase it. Thank you to all those who support the channel and support me. We truly appreciate you and all of our clients. As every weekend, guys, I will be doing our Sunday scriptures tomorrow, doing part three of the first Peter study. So I will catch you guys again on Monday, unless I decide to do something on Sunday, but I know I got to do our quarterly reports. So next time you find this channel talking about crypto, it will be on Monday. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. This is in the, the end of episode 201. We are praying for our president and praying for all of those who do not know the Lord. I am your boy, Christian Israel, and you are tuned into New Creation Capital Podcast. This is the place where we discuss what happens in the world today, the stock market, and yes, digital assets. This is a one-stop shop where you can get everything that you need for your day in Christ and crypto. Because as I love to say, Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future because in him, guys, you are a new creation. Until next time, guys, please remember, God loves you. I love you. You are loved. Can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Have a good night, guys. God bless and later.